Donald Trump has attacked fake polls and fake news as surveys show he enters the holiday season with the lowest approval rating in modern presidential history. The fake news refuses to talk about how big and how strong our base is, he wrote on Twitter, displaying his trademark affection for the use of capital letters. They show fake polls just like they report fake news. Despite only negative reporting, we are doing well, nobody is going to beat us. Make America Great Again Mr. Trump approaches the end of 2017 amid a flurry of polls that show him with a dismal approval rating. A poll released last week by CNN found that it had tumbled to just 35%, from the 45% he enjoyed in March shortly after taking office. A nonpartisan poll released by the NBC Wall Street Journal found the president's approval rating stood at 40%. Peter Hart, a Democrat who helped conduct said his final survey of 2017 found Mr. Trump had lost the support and respect of a majority of Americans in his first year as president. Meanwhile, a tracker from the political data site 538 put his rating at 37.1%. It said that dating the way back to President Harry Truman in 1945, at day 337 of their first term every president had an approval rating at least 10 percentage points better than where Mr. Trump stands now at the same point. Yet while Mr. Trump is maybe off target in his criticism of the polls and the media organizations, he is at least partly right about his claim that he retains intense loyalty among his base of supporters. In October, a Fox News poll found that 83% of Republican voters still approved of Mr. Trump, compared to just 7% of Democrats. But while his overall support among conservatives has remained set, the poll found he had reached some support among two crucial constituencies, white evangelical Christians and white men without a college degree. However, Mr. Trump's ability to press through a tax overhaul bill likely helps cement his support among traditional Republicans, especially fiscal conservatives who believe the government should reduce its spending on welfare programs such as Medicare and Misicaid. His endorsement of religious conservative Roy Moore in Alabama, despite the candidate facing widespread allegations of sexual abuse of girls and young women, allegations he has denied, may help bolster his support among the religious right. Indeed, a poll published last month by Politico Morning Consult found that 82% of respondents who voted for Mr. Trump in the 2016 presidential race said they would support him again. Just 7% said they would pick another candidate if they had to recast their 2016 ballot. That figure was even higher than that enjoyed by his rival, Hillary Clinton. About three quarters of those who voted for the former Secretary of State, 78%, say they would vote for the Democratic nominee again if they had the chance. A total of 8% said they would support a different candidate, a reflection perhaps of her failure to defeat Mr. Trump in a contest in which most pundits had made her the favorite. 